afternoon. Right now, there is an armed insurrection taking place in our nation's capital, seeking to illegally keep the current president in office. I doubt any of us thought we would ever see this day. But what started as an embarrassing denial of reality by a losing candidate desperate to cling to power has turned into a violent coup attempt. With so many Republican elected officials, including many right here in Missouri, actively pushing the lie of a Trump victory over the past month, perhaps this was inevitable. I am confident these insurrections will fail, but their actions will damage our democratic system for years to come. This is not acceptable, and I hope every elected official in Missouri will join us in denouncing this illegal act of sedition. It's somewhat shocking to know that we've been, we are now here where we're supposed to be talking about policy and what our agenda will be for the next legislative session, but instead I've got to talk to you about this. I hope my Republican colleagues um, are taking this as seriously as we are, even though nothing was said today about what's going on in Washington. But I'm happy to take questions if you all have any. Good afternoon, uh, Leader Quigg. Um, the speaker, Rob Scovel, uh, proposed today an expansion of the adoption tax credit. And I know that you were the first, one of the first people to stand up and applaud. It looked like a lot of your members did as well. Is that something you think can get across the finish line? And are there any other areas you think where the two of you can work together? Definitely. Um, I have not read that bill yet that the speaker dropped, but yes, I did stand up upon his conversation around foster care adoption and, and helping our children who are most in need. And our caucus is very excited to continue working with him. Um, honestly, most of the priorities he talked about today uh, fell under the guise of child welfare, and, and that makes, it, makes us really excited. So to your question, things that we are working on, I know many members of the caucus have been very engaged in the conversation around the religious homes that our children um, have been placed in that have no um, no guidelines or restrictions that they have to follow and trying to fix that gap that we have in Missouri. And that's something that many of our members have been working on for several months. But I do anticipate a whole lot more under the foster care realm. Um, as, as you all know, we had House Bill 1414 last year. It was kind of the first step moving in that direction. And so we're excited that, that he is wanting that to be a big priority this year. Okay, thank you all so much. <laughs> 